Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ocean State Aquatics TV. Today I'm going to be showing you how to perform an API pH test kit. This test kit is primarily used for freshwater. In the box there will be an instructional manual, a color chart, uh, a vial, a cap, and the solution bottle. So to get started, you're going to fill your vial up to the line with water. Before you go any further, I do always recommend that you read the instruction manual thoroughly before conducting the test. All right, so next you're gonna add three drops of the uh, bottle into the vial. When you do this, you wanna make sure that you hold the bottle completely upside down to ensure that you have the same size drop going into the vial. So it's three drops. And then you wanna cap your vial and you want to invert your solution a few times to thoroughly mix it through. And you don't have to wait, there's no uh, wait time, you just wanna hold it up to your color chart and then you're good to read what the pH in your aquarium is. So this looks like it's reading around 7.4 for me. Um, so it's on the little higher end of the spectrum. Um, I do have a little bit more vials here. This is an example of one at the complete opposite end of the spectrum reading at six. Um, so this is what it would look like if you have the lowest pH that this test can read. Um, I also have one that is on the higher end. Uh, this one's 7.6, so a little bit higher than the test that I did today. If you test your aquarium water at home and you do get the higher end of the range, I do recommend doing another test using the API high range pH test kit, because uh, that can test pHs higher than this test kit can. After you finish conducting this test, you wanna make sure that you do not pour this back into your aquarium. You wanna make sure you dispose of this properly. Um, thanks so much for watching today, and have a wonderful day.